Hey guys, Ty here. Another video in my series on how to get the most out of your Oculus Go. Man, I love this thing. And in this video, we are going to show you how to take any of the applications that you've installed on your phone and whether or not you got them from the Google Play Store. Maybe you had the Oculus or the Samsung Gear VR and you installed like let's say Minecraft, but you want Minecraft VR and you want it on your Oculus Go or any other apps that you've installed from Oculus uh, on your phone from the old Gear VR that may not be released. The, the reason I figured this out is because I accidentally set my Go up with a different email address than I set up my original Gear VR with. So I had um, an app called Darknet, which is a really cool kind of like puzzle game. Um, it's a great game, you should check it out, Darknet. Um, and I had it on for my Gear VR, and then when I got the Oculus, I immediately bought a few apps, and then uh, realized that I, I went to Darknet, and it was like paid, I was like, wait, what's going on? Uh, and I, my accounts weren't the same, even though they were both connected to the same Facebook account somehow. I contacted Oculus customer support, and they were just like, tough titty, you, you're gonna have to hard reset this if you want and sign in with the other account, but then I would lose the apps that I paid for on this. Um, so it actually just, I, I just kind of struck me. I was like, well, what happens if, how can I figure out how to pull that app off of here and put it on there? Here's how to do it and it's super, super simple. So you're gonna need ES File Explorer and I know I've mentioned this app in a few of my videos, but I love ES File Explorer, it's just so useful. Um, so we'll pull up a screenshot of this. So here's ES File Explorer right here. Um, now if you look right here at the top, you'll see it says apps right here. So I'm gonna click on apps and what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a list of apps. Now I recommend highly that you install ES File Explorer on your Go. Um, I have done a video on how to do that. I will link to it below right there so that you have ES File Explorer on your go so you can do the same sort of things. You can use this to uninstall these apps. Um, if I were to long press, say there's Temple Run, um, I can click uninstall, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll go back, oops, back. Okay, so I am looking for, uh, and it was uh, Darknet. So you're just gonna go to your apps right here and type in whatever app you're looking for. So if it's uh, the um, Minecraft, Gear VR Minecraft, you'll find it. So here it is, so here's Darknet right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to long press on it right there, uh, and then go down to the bottom, and I'm gonna click backup. And it will take a second, it's backing it up. This is about a 340 megabyte um, app, and now it says successfully backed up. Now where we're gonna find that is we can close this out, and then you're gonna go to internal storage, and that's like the phone's internal storage right there. Scroll down until you go to backups right there, and it'll have that little ES logo on it, and then apps. Now here it is, now this is ready to be installed, and it will work on your go. So if you have any Gear VR apps, they will work on the go. They will show up under unknown sources on your go in your main library once you've enabled developer mode, which I'm sure if you're looking at this video, you've done that. Now we're gonna transfer this over. Now there's a few different ways to transfer this over. Um, I actually have my Go set up so that it's got an FTP uh, server running on it, and it's a super small file. Um, I've done a video on it. We can click to that down below. I'll provide a link uh, to transfer, and that's how I'm gonna do it right here. So I'm just gonna long press this, and I'm going to select uh, copy, and then I'm gonna go over here to uh, my favorites, which is Oculus Go, and I'm just gonna stick it in downloads, and I'm gonna click paste. Um, Yep, overwrite, because I already wrote it, just to kind of show you. And here it goes, and it moves fairly fast. You know, we're getting like a little over 10 megs a second, 15 megs a second, 18 megs a second, 21 megs a second, 25, uh, 27, and it's done. So it was like 300 megs that quick, wirelessly, and this is just charging. This was definitely going to the go there. Um, and that's that. Now you're gonna go into ES File Explorer, you're gonna go to Downloads, where you just put it, you're gonna install it, boom, it works. It's that easy that quick, that simple. So many of these little tricks are just so quick and easy to do. And you just don't kind of think that you can even do them. Um, so that's that. Now you can pull all sorts of apps. I actually tried Sonic 1, which is an old Sonic game that I had on the phone. It's compatible with a gamepad. I moved it over to the Go the same exact way and it shows up under Oculus TV. Definitely use the App Starter app, uh, and I have a video on setting all of that stuff up. It's how to sideload apps I'll put a link down below as well. Uh, it's just all my videos, I guess, on the go right here. 
yeah, so it's it's super easy. Now, not every single program is going to work. Some of them are dependent on play services. Some of them just won't work. Um, but definitely all of your Gear VR apps should work on the Oculus Go right here. And this is a great way to pull them off, put them on your Go. If they're not available on the Go, or like me, you have separate accounts um, and you wanna get them on your Go, that is the way to do it right there. Easy peasy. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to ask in the comment below. Comments below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please like and uh, subscribe to the channel if this is stuff that you're interested in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.